The retired Bishop of Lewis, Wallace Benn, who was facing disciplinary proceedings over alleged failings in child protection, says all complaints against him have been dismissed. He's described the allegations as misconceived and unjustified. Simon Jones reports. Bishop Wallace Benn had been accused of breaching important rules designed to keep children safe. It was claimed he attempted to prevent a CRB disclosure completed on a priest accused of abusing children being dealt with properly. He was said to have failed to tell police about a paedophile priest, Robert Coles, who was jailed in February for sexually abusing boys. He subsequently insisted there was no ineptitude or cover-up on his part. That's been under investigation by the Archbishop of York, John Sentamu, and the Right Honourable Lord Justice Mummery. In a statement published on the Anglican Mainstream website, Wallace Benn said the complaints made by the Safeguarding Advisory Group of the Diocese of Chichester were misconceived and unjustified. He said attempts have been made to cast me in the role of a scapegoat without regard to where the truth lies. Well, I think it's tremendously encouraging not just for Wally Ben himself because it clears him of all the charges that he acted in a manner either incompetently or trying to cover up things. But it's also encouraging for the diocese because implicit in accusing Wally Ben of these things has been accusing the leadership of the diocese. Some of the complaints were dismissed on their merits, the rest on the basis that they have been made outside the time allowed under the clergy discipline measure when no good grounds exist for any extension of time. Bishop Wallace Benn had been heavily criticised in the past. In 2011, he was described as being negligent by former High Court judge Baroness Butler Schloss. Her report revealed he allowed two priests accused of abuse, Roy Cotton and Colin Pritchard, to remain in position when they posed a significant risk. One of their victims says questions still need to be answered. I think the process should be very much more open and transparent. I mean, in this case, nobody even knows officially what the charges were that were laid. None of the evidence has been aired in public or heard in the public domain. Wallace Benn said tonight, the actions of clergy who have engaged in the abuse of children appall me and the ongoing effects on survivors is of the highest concern to me. Hi. Simon Jones, oh, BBC welcome. South East Today. Well, our Home Affairs correspondent, Colin Campbell, has been following this story. He's with us in the studio now. And, um, Colin, Bishop Wallace Benn ha has actually criticised the way his own colleagues in the Church of England have handled the case against him. That's right, Polly. There is stinging criticism from Bishop Wallace Benn aimed at two people, and those are the two people he says um, put together the formal complaint against him in 2011. They are Colin Perkins, the safeguarding advisor, and uh, the chair of the independent safeguarding group, a man called Keith Ackerman. And Bishop Wallace Benn says he regrets their decision to seek to pursue misguided disciplinary complaints without taking the trouble to meet him. He goes on to say later uh, in his statement that uh, he accepts and agrees that there was cover up and ineptitude in the church's handling of paedophile priest uh, Roy Cotton and says that that is also a matter of great regret. But the, the victims of sexual abuse at the hands of Church of England clergy, uh, they still feel that there are many unanswered questions, don't they? Absolutely. There have now been four formal inquiries into sex abuse in uh, the Church of England in Sussex, one of those ordered by the former Archbishop of Canterbury, Dr Rowan uh, Williams. There have been a catalogue of mistakes and failings identified. Priests accused of abuse have been allowed to remain in position. Information about perpetrators that has not been passed on to the police etc etc despite this not a single member of clergy has faced any formal disciplinary proceedings for any mistakes and I think this is something that the church is acutely aware about concerned about and uh, seeking to address thanks Colin